I get a lot of questions asking me what mouse and keyboard to use, what keybinds or settings to run, but what if I told you that something more important than that might be holding you back in your games? Understanding the ever-changing meta in Apex Legends and what weapons you need to use to be successful is one of the most important skills of experienced players. Today I'm going to be breaking down the 5 strongest weapons that you should be using in Season 7 to secure you higher damage and more wins in Apex Legends. Let's get right into it. To save you guys some time, I'm going to cover these weapons in order of effectiveness and overall placement in the weapon tier list of our current meta. If you want to see a full list of all weapons ranked for Season 7, go check out my friend Grizzy's video on that topic in the description or on screen. Otherwise, we're just going to cover the 5 most effective guns to use in Season 7. First up, we have the Volt Energy Submachine Gun. With a medium fire rate, forgiving mag size, and easy to control recoil pattern, I believe the Volt is one of the highest reward guns to use right now with little actual skill required. What makes the Volt unique this season is the ability to deal good damage over both short and medium to long range engagements. Because it uses energy ammo, it has the fastest bullet travel time, which means you don't have to lead your shots as much as some other weapons, making it a lot more intuitive for medium range gunfights. On top of that, it also has one of the fastest strafe speeds in the game next to the pistol category, allowing for faster and more fluid movement in close range gunfights. I'd say the Volt's probably the strongest weapon without attachments to pick up in the energy weapon category, so take some time to learn it and incorporate it in your loadouts. Next up, we have the Hemlock. I'm sure you've already heard a lot about this weapon. It's been fairly mediocre, receiving multiple buffs for a few seasons until Season 7 when it got a slight nerf to try to bring it down in power. Regardless of this, however, the gun still has one of the best time to kill stats in the game, killing in 2 bursts to the head and 3 to the body. Back in Season 6, I covered a not so known tip comparing the burst of the Prowler and the Hemlock. I'll leave a link in the top right if you want to check that out, but to summarize, the Hemlock only requires a recoil control for the first shot, whereas the Prowler requires pulling down for the entirety of the burst, making the Hemlock an easier weapon to control. Top this with the insane damage potential, and this gun is a must if you prefer to run a medium to long range loadout. If you really want to be annoying to the rest of the lobby, pair this gun with a 2x Bruiser or 3x Ranger and a bunch of heavy ammo, and you'll be a force to be reckoned with. At the number 3 spot, we have the gun, the myth, the legend itself, the Mastiff Shotgun. When the Mastiff first replaced the PK, reception was sour, however, as the meta has evolved, it's gotten to the point where not running a Mastiff will put you at a severe disadvantage in most fights, especially close range encounters. The thing that makes the Mastiff so powerful is its ability to deal out large damage in a single shot, maxing out at 110 with a body shot and 120 at a headshot. You also don't have to carry a lot of ammo to run this gun, as almost everyone runs one, especially in higher tier lobbies, as well as shotgun ammo being super common as floor loot. Thanks, Mozambique and Eva spawns. This gun will literally give you the ability to win close range engagements that you normally wouldn't, if you can properly time and center your shots that is. The reason this gun isn't higher on the list is its effectiveness at mid to long range. The Mastiff requires you to basically be within kissing distance to ensure higher damage numbers, and it's not very forgiving if you don't aim center mass. That's why you see a lot of people complaining about hitting 14s. Generally, it's a centering problem. If you're stuck fighting in a longer range, say you're getting gate kept out of zone, or you need to do the damage to commit to a fight, you're going to have to rely on your primary weapon to do that for you. All this being said, this is a gun that will definitely round out almost any loadout that you could choose. I might get some flame for ranking this gun lower on the list, but at the number 4 spot we've got the R99 submachine gun. I mean, come on, would I be able to make a weapons tier list without putting the timeless classic of the Apex community? This gun is widely used and loved by most of the community due to its high fire rate, fast strafe speed, and kill potential. It kicks high and can be difficult to control without attachments for less experienced players, however if you can learn and master the recoil patterns, this gun will dominate close and medium range engagements. This gun is in almost every clip I hit because mastering this gun yields a high reward by far. The reason I've ranked this gun lower on the list for Season 7 though is due to its overall effectiveness. Even in the hands of an experienced player, this gun can struggle at medium to long range. On Olympus especially, I find that I prefer to run a Volt or instead pair the R99 with a Wingman to fight medium to long range engagements. In order to properly put damage down range for this weapon, you're going to be eating through light ammo, and for most players this gun finds its effectiveness only at close range, causing you to have to fall back on your secondary to finish a kill or do damage over range. Regardless, this gun is still extremely powerful and important to learn for close range aggressive players. Last but certainly not least, we have the Flatline, another heavy assault rifle, but hear me out for a second here. The Flatline is probably one of the strongest and most forgiving weapons to use right now. 
At 20 damage per bullet and a 30 round mag with purple extended, the potential damage output definitely puts it as one of the strongest weapons right now. Why is it ranked so low on this list then? For that, I point you to the strafe speed and the recoil. Flatline has always kicked really hard, making it a difficult gun to master in medium to long ranges. However, if you can learn to control it, much like the R99, you'll find yourself melting people. However, if you can learn to control it, much like the R99, you'll find yourself melting people before they can even react. At close range, I would definitely recommend hip firing though, as the flatline has one of the slowest strafe speeds in the game, making you an easier target to hit. An important trade-off you have to recognize for the extra damage output. Off spawn, this gun dominates, and if you can learn the recoil pattern, you'll have yourself a stronger R301 and a good weapon for most ranges. Pair this weapon with a 2x and you'll find those long range engagements a lot easier to take on, dealing that important damage or securing an early elimination for your team. Having the right loadout in Apex Legends can be the difference between dropping a high damage high kill game and being the first one to die off the dropship. If you learn to use some if not all of these weapons, you'll most definitely find your kill potential going up and you'll have a better understanding of the current Season 7 meta. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and comment your feedback or suggestions below. If you didn't, let me know what I can do to improve. I try my best to read and respond to every comment I get. While you're at it, if you enjoy the content and you want to see more content geared towards entertainment, good gameplay, and becoming better at Apex Legends, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications to all to never miss an upload. Let me know what your go-to loadout for Season 7 is, what guns you think are the best, and if you agree or disagree with anything on this list. Otherwise, guys... Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been Hybrid, and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Later. Yo, give me fucking weak! Oh my god. Good nice. shit! Nice. Hey, you gotta rest quick. <clears throat> Somebody just rest literally right. I'm taking port. Yo, we need to get up to the second floor. Yeah, yeah second, second floor, second floor. Or third, third. I want third. Somebody's on third. 67. Octane on my stairs. Crack 78. Just hold, 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 hold. You got him, you got him. I have self res, I have self res. Octane speaking. I'm popping a bat. Got him. Good shit. Us. I have to pop a med kit. He's down below us. I need shotgun ammo. 65 flesh on front. I have one absolutely chase. no shotgun ammo. They're one floor above. Stairs. Cracked! 39 flesh! Cracked! 13 flesh! Pop in a mech hit. Get a scan. Yeah. Bottom floor. Crack jib on me! Got him! Nice! Crack raised! One! Yes! Let's, let's go. go! Holy shit! Oh, I just went fucking crazy! Dude, I just went fucking nuts! You are the Apex champion. Mastiff was actually fucking hitting there, man! Holy fuck!